This is the locked leaderboard, and if you want to be on here, you have to have some insane dribbling techniques to get past your opponents. But don't worry, because I'm going to be showing you a bunch of dribbling styles right now. Now the first technique is going to be chop. Chop is a very simple dribble that you are going to have to master if you want to be good at dribbling, because well, it kind of sets the base for every other dribble. For example, there are two different types of chops. You have a light chop, which you flick your camera over and chop that direction. And you have a hard chop, where you let the ball go a little bit further. Something like this. You can do it any direction. Now, the second one is a light chop. The light chop is just gonna be like this, and it's just a simple light chop in every in any direction you want. That's why the chop is the base because you can do it in any direction. You can do it forward, you can do it backwards, you can do it left, you can do it right. So if you want to be anything special when you are dribbling, you are going to have to learn the chop dribble. Now the next dribble is going to be well. <laughs> I don't really have a name for this one. I guess I'm just going to call them flick up dribbles because you're basically flicking your camera up and doing them. So this is basically an add on to the chop, but instead of just looking some direction, you're actually going to be flicking your mouse camera up in any direction. You can do right, left or forward. And here's how it is going to work. You are going to M2 directly up and then just spam dribble. Now you can do a quick flick up dribble, which is like this pretty good when you just need to get away from somebody who is sliding at your toes then you can do a medium one which is kind of like this and then you can do a high one which you wait till it reaches the maximum distance before you can actually touch it like that so again quick one medium one and long one so when you combine the chop and this together you get something that looks like this You're already on your way to see your name on the leaderboard. But now let's go through a different variation of the flick up dribble, which some people call air dribbles. Now air dribbles are simply when you just dribble the ball in air. This is mainly used by people who have builds that are like 6'3 and bunnies to prevent people from actually touching the ball. Here's how you would do it. You would look up, but instead of the flick dribble where you just tap, you would hold down the M2 a little bit. You'd go. And then you'd follow it up by doing the same thing either with your head or by holding down M2 and simply just jumping. Let's do this again, but this time I'm going to be flicking up with just using my M2 instead of my head. So for example, now I'm going to do it with my head. which is a little bit harder. It's just a different variant if uh, they're actually being able to stop it before you're able to M2 it. And if you have bunnies, it is easier, I believe. I believe your head has a bigger hitbox uh, when it is elevated than when your foot does. So again, you do have to be careful about misangling your air dribbles because that could definitely hurt you. For example, just a slight misangle on a header would look like something like this and go way too far. That is the difference between like right here and right here. Pretty small difference, but it can make the world of one in a game. Another variant of the air dribbles, which is the last one, is going to be just jumping up and tapping it with your chest using M1. So you're going to do the same thing as you flick up the ball, but this time you are just going to M1 it and then continue. So flick up, jump, M1, continue m one Let's do that all fast. Combining all the dribbles we just talked about will give you something like this. And you are already now looking like a pro dribbler. But there are still a few techniques that you need to learn. Let's move on to our fourth dribble. Now this one is mainly for when you lose control and cannot be used uh, sequentially with all the other dribbles. For example, this dribble cannot stack on to something that looks like this. 
only if you lose control of the ball. So let's say you lose control of the ball, you don't actually hit it, like, or you're just slacking and you forget to M1, anything happens to where the ball gets too far away from you for comfort, you can simply just M2. And the ball, you will be pretty far away and you can still M2. So just a simple, you can cover the distance between probably, see, let's look at how far away we are. And you can just easily regain your coverage and get control of the ball and then use one of the few dribbles that I have taught in this video. Now for this next dribble, you are going to need to be somewhat tired with your stamina and I call these break dribbles because well, you really are just taking a break. You make sure you have directional dribble on and you can just move the ball in whatever direction you need to to recover your stamina and make sure that nobody is taking the ball. So let's go ahead and show you how this could actually be used in a real game. Let's say I'm running out of stamina and I'm going the ball. I'm going to pursue the ball when it's right here. The enemy is coming in like this and they see me take a break right here. What can be used is while I'm breathing, I could and just do a spin around to force them to turn around and go like this, possibly get ankle broken while I'm just sitting here doing a full twist around with the ball. So you've just be in your coverage and now fully re-established your stamina. Now for our last triple, and if you master all these, you might as well go ahead, tell the devs to start writing your name on that leaderboard, because you're going to be up there in no time. Okay, for our last dribble, this is going to be called Turning Rainbow Flicks. By playing against some people, I actually learned this dribbling style, and it is absolutely insane. I've not yet mastered it, but I'm trying to, because it is overpowered. So the main dribble is just to keep the ball up, and you do Rainbow Flicks to the side, basically like this right but he's able to kind of keep the ball like levitate and switch directions with it while still maintaining his speed and it is just absolutely insane how do you guys understand the idea i'm trying to go for here to where i'm here flick the ball still are in pursuit get the ball right here and are able to flick the ball back and still pursue the ball. Something sort of like, I'm pretty sure I just did it there, but this is far from mastered for me. So those are gonna be all the dribbles showcased in this video. If you are able to master every single one of these techniques, you're basically good enough to just make the leaderboard. Hopefully these tricks will allow you to score more goals and I'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys in the comments up top that leaderboard. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.